What's up, guys? Neil Orfus here taking a look at Stochastic's NFL DFS lineup generator for Monday Night Football. While you're coming in, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, and hit that notification button so you can get alerts when our shows go live. Tonight we have two games, which means we have multiple slates to go over here. So I, I'm actually going to look quickly at both the showdown slate and the main slate. Uh, so we have the, the main slate is going to cover both the, the two games uh, in, in the standard format. The showdown slate is going to cover the Bengals Rams that we have set up in our showdown lineup generator as well. Right now is the perfect time to sign up for lineup generator if you haven't already done so, because today is the last day that you can get it for $9.99 for your first week of the lineup generator using the link in the description of this video. After that, it's going to be $14.95 per week. So you can still get it for your first week for $9.99 uh, as of today. And it's the perfect time because today is Monday, which means you sign up right now. You're going to be able to get to you. Uh, to use it for tonight's slate, both the showdown and the main slate. You're going to be able to use it for Thursday night football. You're going to be able to use it on Sunday. And then you're going to be able to use it again for next Monday's slate. Uh, so I think right now is the perfect time to sign up. And again, you can get it for $9.99 for your first week if you haven't already signed up using the link in the description of this video. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start by taking a look at the DraftKings showdown slate. Then I'm going to take a look at the FanDuel single game slate. And I'm going to take a closer look at those. I'm just going to look at, I'm, I'm going to try to find like two lineups that I like in each of them. And then I'm going to take a really quick look at both the DraftKings main slate and the FanDuel main slate, because I think those are a little bit more straightforward. We've only got two games here. Obviously, you're going to want to stack your quarterback in these games in most of your lineups. But I think the, the main slates are a little bit more straightforward on a two game slate, whereas the showdown slate, I want to take a closer look at a couple of the lineups. So I'm going to start here on DraftKings showdown. And just try to find two lineups that kind of fit the builds that I like to make on Showdown. And I'm actually going to use contrarian lineups here. I think I'm typically, when I'm making Showdown lineups, I'm trying to make lineups that are not going to be duplicated more than like 10, 15 times. So I think contrarian lineups probably the way to go. I am going to just use standard projections. I don't think I'm going to call for a shootout, but you can choose any of these options that you want to use. One of the really cool features of the lineup generator is you can have it generate lineups for a particular game script. So if you think, for example, that it's going to be a shootout, both teams are going to go six plus points over their uh, implied team total, then you can choose this top button here. Or if you think it's going to be a dud, neither team going to reach their team total, you can choose the bottom button. Or if you think the Bengals are going to blow out the Rams, or whatever you want to do, you can choose. You can see what the options are here. Very cool. I'm just going to use standard projections for the purpose of this video. We're using contrarian. So these are contrarian lineups. Now, I'm generally looking first at projection. This one looks like it's going to project well enough. Projecting for 82 fantasy points seems pretty high to me. Second, I'm looking at correlation. And for me, the, the main thing I'm looking at is just the quarterbacks, making sure that they're used in an appropriate build. Here we have Joe Burrow in the flex. We've got him with a couple pass catching options in Drew Sample and T. Higgins. So it looks good from that perspective. We don't have Matthew Stafford in here, so we don't need to worry about pairing him with his pass catchers. Uh, if I were going to nitpick, I mean, this one, this lineup has three Rams pass catchers in it and no Matthew Stafford. I think that's fine. I think there are ways to get there, particularly on a PPR site like DraftKings. But, you know, it's it, maybe a little bit tougher uh, to get there when you could obviously fit Stafford in here into the Puka Nakua spot. But I think that's the only place that he would price would allow us to upgrade. And it's very possible for Puka to outscore Stafford. So I think that I'm actually OK with uh, this lineup having three pass catchers from the Rams with no Stafford. Because again, you could really only upgrade one of these pass catchers to Stafford anyway. Uh, and this one, from a uniqueness standpoint, we are leaving 3,100 on the table. So right away, that makes us fairly unique. Uh, we have a fairly low owned captain with Tutu Atwell there. Uh, a lot of chalk, as you can see here, we've got Chalky Joe Burrow, Puka, T. Higgins, uh, and then, you know, kind of lower owned. Tyler Higby, Andrew Sample. But really, we don't have to worry as much about the ownership because we know it's going to be a uh, non-duplicated lineup or not non-heavily duplicated lineup because we're leaving 3100 on the table so i like this lineup right away i'm going to save that one second lineup we've got evan mcpherson in the captain spot i hesitate to use a kicker in the captain spot if i'm using the full salary because oftentimes people like to use the kicker or the defense in the captain spot to allow them to play all of the studs in the flex and then they end up duplicating a thousand times because they have the kicker and they think they're getting unique because you have a 1.6 percent owned kicker but then most of those lineups that have the kicker in the captain spot are going to 
tend toward the, the same build. So they end up being duplicated way more than you would expect. But in this case, we're leaving 2,900 on the table. So I don't mind using the kicker in the captain spot. This one projects well, 84.65 fantasy points to project better than the last one. Uh, again, we, we don't have to worry too much about uh, the uniqueness because we're leaving a good amount of salary on the table. And then we have Matthew Stafford in there paired with two pass catchers. So I like this lineup quite a bit. So, so right away, I think these two lineups perfectly viable for a large field GPP on DraftKings. Uh, so that's going to do it. I, I found my two lineups that I like right away. Don't have to worry about finding any more. I'm just going to go through and see what our exposures look like after I've saved. And it's been allowing us to, uh, to make 40 lineups sometimes. Is it still doing that? Yeah, which is kind of a nice nice little bonus. It's supposed to only do 20 lineups at a time, uh, a glitch that works out in our favor that we're allowing for 40 lineups. Now, maybe we just haven't updated the the uh, note here about maximum 20 lineups. It's allowing you to save 40, so that's kind of nice. Uh, we got 50% Puka Nakua in our lineups, 47% Joe Burrow, 38% Joe Mixon, 38% Tyler Boyd, 35% Higgins. We're pretty spread out here. We don't have anybody coming in, again, more than 50%. Puka Nakua, just a target monster so far, so I don't mind having 50% of Puka Nakua. I have no issue with this exposure. I don't see any glaring omissions either. I think that uh, this makes a lot of sense to me. Of course, we'll see if, if Joe Burrow ends up going. It, it's looking like he's probably going to play tonight, but obviously keep your eye on that. All right, let's take a look at some FanDuel single game lineups as well. And again, I'm just going to try to find two lineups that I like on FanDuel for the single game slate. I'm going to do, again, contrarian lineups. That worked out well. I found two that I liked right away. I'm going to use standard projections. All right, this one, not going to use it. So the reason being, so it projects for 65.84. That seems fine. But it uses the full salary cap, first of all. Don't love that. Joe Burrow, naked. I, it's more viable on FanDuel than it is on DraftKings. But I just don't think Joe Burrow is going to be running with the calf injury he has. So this one, I'm not going to use it because of the Joe Burrow naked here and because of the use in the full salary cap and uh again every single lineup you get here in the lineup generator is going to be a plus ev lineup but this one i think is more like a min cash probably has a lot of min cash equity i don't think it has a lot of equity in terms of solo shipping or, or like non non mega duped shipping a contest so for me this is not a lineup that i am going to be playing so i'm going to discard that one all right second lineup we have here we have burrow now we have him paired with boyd so i like that We've got Mixon in the MVP spot. No, not, don't have to worry about correlating Mixon. This one projecting for 66.6 seems fine. And it leaves 6,000 on the table. The salary cap on FanDuel is uh, 60,000. This one's just using 54,000. So I'm not worried about this one being duped. I like it. I like it quite a bit. So we uh, obviously you need Tyler Higby to outscore everybody up to 14,000 in salary, which maybe maybe is asking a lot, but that's kind of the kind of concession you need to make to get to low duplicates uh, on on FanDuel. So I don't mind it. I think that it is plausible that uh, you know Tyler Higby outscores Puka or whoever, whoever you can fit at up to 14,000. Similarly with uh, Tyler Boyd, you need to, him to outscore everybody up to 15,500 for this lineup to be the nuts. But I think that it is viable. Tyler Boyd certainly uh, is live to you know score a touchdown, outscore his teammates. So I think this is a viable lineup. I like it for a large field GPP. I'm going to go with this one. All right, let's find one more here. And so this one right away, 69.42 is the projection. That's pretty nice. We're leaving 3,000 on the table. So not too worried about the uniqueness factor. And then from a correlation standpoint. So this is one you might look at it and say, you've got Joe Burrow in the MVP spot and the Rams DST in a flex. Some people might avoid this one. I actually like this one quite a bit. So we've got Burrow paired with Higgins and Boyd and Joe Mixon in there as well. Uh, so maybe some negative correlation with the quarterback and the opposing defense, but what you're hoping for with this kind of lineup is the Rams offense just sputters, can't do anything today. They don't put up any fantasy points. Maybe Joe Burrow throws a pick six. That, that would be the ideal thing for this lineup. Joe Burrow throws a pick six. Well, he loses, I think, one fantasy point for throwing an interception. The Rams pick up eight fantasy points. If I, I believe I'm, I'm getting the scoring system right here. The Rams, pick, Rams defense picks up eight fantasy points for that one play. And then Joe, Joe Burrow gets the ball right back. So it doesn't really even hurt Joe Burrow. He can make up that one fantasy point he loses very quickly. Uh, so the negative correlation with the quarterback and the opposing defense, something that I like to lean into. I don't I don't mind that negative correlation. I don't even know that it ultimately is going to negatively correlate all that much. Uh, so I like this lineup quite a bit. I think it's going to go under-owned, uh, underused, probably not duplicated a ton. And I think that it is, is viable. There are ways, paths for this lineup to win. So Found a couple lineups that I like here. Now I'm just going to go through and save. See what our top exposures look like.
again, I think I was allowed to save. Yep, 40, 40. I must have discarded one, but we got to about 40 lineups. We have 72% Joe Burrow, so we are getting to a ton of Joe Burrow on FanDuel. That's a little bit different than DraftKings. 56% Joe Mixon, 51% Kyron Williams, 51% Matthew Stafford, then a drop down to Higgins, Boyd, Bengals uh, in the mid-30s here. So that's that's what we're looking at on FanDuel. Now let's take a brief look at the two game slates. Just kind of want to see what the exposures look like here. So I'm going to go to the DraftKings main. I'm going to do all stack types. I'm going to do all lineup types. And then right away we have a mega, look at this mega buck stack. Uh, that's that's an interesting lineup here with Baker, Rashad White, Mike Evans, K Dot, and Chris Godwin and Buccaneers defense all in this lineup that is that is very interesting and, and no run back from the eagles either. that's a very interesting lineup right away there are a lot of different ways to build i'm guessing this is going to be pretty unique too despite being mega owned at 337 percent uh but i'm going to just look at one more okay we have stafford here with puka nakua single stack here aj brown on the comeback again for bucks so we're getting to some fairly i mean they're they're chalky in the sense of a ton of ownership but they're not going to be lineups i think a lot of people are going to play with this many bucks in them so that is i think these are pretty interesting lineups all right i'm just going to go through though and save as many lineups as it lets me here see what our exposures look like all right so we got to 40 lineups here 97 percent joe mixon Projects really well today. You have to play two running backs. You can play up to three running backs. So you're going to get a lot of the better projected running backs. You get Joe Mixon, 97%. Rashad White, 60%. Kyron Williams, 38%. Those are our highest owned running backs. Interesting. We're not getting to a ton of the Eagles guys. They're making it sound like it's going to be a hot hand situation with DeAndre Swift and Kenneth Gainwell. So kind of hard to project either of them to put up a huge score here. Uh, obviously still viable though because one of them could could just take the lead role and, and run with it but pretty interesting set of lineups here who's our highest owned quarterback here 25 percent baker mayfield we uh 25 no 33 percent jalen hurts followed by 25 percent baker mayfield are our highest owned quarterbacks 23 percent joe burrow there and then 20 percent matthew stafford are our current quarterback so keep an eye obviously on the joe burrow news Prior to lock, that might change things. Let's take a look at FanDuel as well. Just real quickly, I'm going to do all stack types, all lineup types. First lineup on FanDuel, we get Burrow with Chase and Boyd. We still have Mega. We're, we're getting to a lot of bucks. That's pretty interesting to me that we're getting so many bucks in these lineups on both sites here. Rams defense there. So we have Joe Burrow going up against the Rams defense. I'm happy to see that we're allowing for that. In the lineup generator, I think that we should be on a two-game slate, so that makes a lot of sense to me. Burrow with Chase and Joe Mixon. Uh, we got the the three bucks in there. Oh, and, and Tyler Boyd with Burrow, and then Kyron Williams on the comeback as well. I like that lineup quite a bit. Even though it uses the full salary cap on a main slate, I'm more okay with it. It's really only, uh, only showdown slates where I'm trying to leave salary on the table to be unique. Maybe on a two-gamer you want to think about it, but I don't think it's a huge concern in lineups like this that I just don't think this is a lineup a lot of people are going to play. All right, I'm going to go through and I'm just going to save as many lineups as it lets me. Take a look at the exposures. Ninety-five percent Joe Mixon again. Just that's just a function of Joe Mixon projecting so much better than every other running back on the slate. Rashad White second there again, sixty-two percent. Kyron Williams thirty-five percent. So getting to a lot of Joe Mixon in these lineup generators. Uh, Puka Nakua, 65%, kind of interesting. Rashad White again. Uh, Kate Otten, 45%. 5K tight end there in Kate Otten coming in. Uh, Dallas Goddard is just 5.9K coming in at 38% as well. Interestingly, the Bucks getting so much ownership. Bucks defense at 38%. Not the first place that I would instinctively go. But again, these lineups are all balanced out for us. They're going to be parts of it going to be chalky. We're going to have some contrarian parts. Uh, it's going to balance out our lineups for us because every single one of these lineups has been run through the stochastic sims. And again, every lineup you get is going to be plus EV in the stochastic sims. All right, that is going to do it for this video. Again, if you haven't done so, please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so as well. Hit that notification button so you can get alerts when our shows go live. Thanks for watching. Good luck tonight.